What's up everybody, Decisive TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play world. I know it's been a few days. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm really, really sorry. Can you can you guys forgive me? It's been a crazy week with my birthday and with Christmas coming up and everything like that. I had a few things I got to get taken care of. Uh, last minute plans to hang out with friends and that sort of stuff before um, we don't see each other for the holidays and whatnot. But uh, we are back on the world hopefully you guys this week is going pretty good um my week as i said has been very crazy but it's been pretty good so you know we will take it um last video somebody commented on the lighthouse and was wondering how i got the uh the spinny light thing so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that it's pretty easy um you just gotta Use a bunch of observers. Uh, so, yeah, you can kind of see you have them in a line like that. So each one is looking into the next. Uh, so it kind of just makes this chain. So luckily I have a resource pack that shows the arrows. And um, it just makes it a bit easier to see. So the, uh, the front is going to be the back side of the arrow. So the face right here that is observing this observer so then it makes a redstone pulse and then the next observer observes the redstone pulse and then sends it on through. And it basically just does that all the way down the line. So I can actually do something like that. Uh, and then we have observers on the top observing the ones that have the redstone pulse uh, that observe the other observer that's observing an observer. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of observing, observing with the observers, but, you know, we'll make it through. So... Yeah, these just detect whenever the chain starts uh, and then it'll send a redstone pulse into the lamps, um, which it sends it. Uh, redstone lamps are a little bit weird. The The copper lamps are going to be really, really cool. Uh, uh, not not nearly as useful as a, uh, redstone lamps are for like a lighthouse, but uh, the copper lamps, so you can only like do one with the redstone pulse. These, they do like a pattern of four like that, or they'll do like the corner like this. So it kind of, it, it looks pretty interesting. Um, you can see like one will turn off and the other one will turn on. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you just do the same thing on the top uh, and it is that simple. So that's how you do it. Uh, you only need a, uh, not too many observers you only need what 12 24 28 for one layer uh 28 times 2 so 56 observers total in order to do something like this something as big as this the uh the um a th three three by four area up top so yeah uh pretty simple to do nothing too crazy oh boy it's nighttime oh no so this video, I actually have uh, something a little bit fun kind of planned. Uh, it's definitely going to be a kind of a throwback to the early days of Minecraft, uh, I feel. Maybe. Well, uh, I'm not too sure now. But uh, I made this thing that looks kind of almost like a, a cornucopia, <laughs> I guess. Uh, how it opens up and then it kind of like goes back. I I'm not too sure. It's just an entrance to the staircase that I have that leads down. I don't know what's with me in making staircases recently, but we'll take it. Um, so this leads down to a ravine that I found. I lit it up and everything, so hopefully we don't have any creepers drop on us or nothing like that. Mob spawning. It's not, never fun. Uh, so I want to make a sugarcane farm. Or, well, I, I want to make a lot of different farms i want to be able to move our farms that we have over to there all the sugar cane wheat carrots all that stuff i'm going to move it down in here uh, just so we can uh start getting the the area over there prepared for our actual actual like base like good looking kind of aesthetically pleasing sort of base that we are going to have um at least hopefully it looks good <laughs> but yeah so as i said last episode we're going to be making kind of a dock sort of area over yonder uh, at least that's the plan 
and so we'll need that space in order to actually make the houses and stuff so uh i am wanting to move all of that stuff over here but we do need a space so that's why i picked a ravine because it's pretty flat and uh i i think it would be pretty cool because back in the the good old days of minecraft uh you would just uh, a lot of the time, at least for me, I would find a ravine and I'd just make a house like inside of it and then I'd mine out an area uh, for part of it and then I would have like everything going along the ravine. Uh, like all my farms, uh, all my enchanting and uh, everything like that. It was pretty pretty fun to do back in the day. So I kind of want to do that again. And I kind of carved out uh, a small area right here to... Uh, uh, put some chests in so I really I want this to be a huge farm I want it to be super duper big uh, but we're we're definitely not at the point where I can have that many chests yet <laughs> I I don't I don't really have a lot of hoppers so you're definitely gonna need to make more uh, I just I don't have a lot of wood to really work with so yeah <laughs> So, yeah, I think we can do something like this. Uh, so, we're just going to have, like, a whole wall of hoppers behind these chests. And uh, this is just going to be the sugarcane farm, uh, I think. So, well, I mean, I guess we can... I think it might be pretty cool to hook up, like, everything to it. Well, actually, no. I think I think I want to have it in the same area. Maybe not... Maybe not the same chest, though. I think I want to have different chests for different items. Uh, so I don't have to put, like, item filters or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah. We'll have chests there for, like... I don't I don't even know. Wheat, carrots, whatever. Stuff like that, maybe. Um, do that. But we just have hoppers leading along like that. Uh, boy, oh boy. Do I need more chests, huh? Okay, so we'll do something like that, and then I think um, we'll have the drop-off point right there. So, uh, what we got to do, should be pretty easy, is we need to have, I think, I think a bubble column right here would work. Um, but I do want to have the farm, so we'll have a bubble column right here. The soul sand is going to be right here. We'll have a sign to block... Uh, the water flowing backwards, or a couple, or yeah, a couple signs, uh, and then we'll have a water stream right here. Uh, we need to get a piece of compact ice, which is gonna be interesting because I'll have a silk touch pick yet, yet I don't think. So then, once we get that, uh, the items are going to fall. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I think we'll do something like that and then going to make our way back up. Um, so I, I just want to have like a wall of sugarcane uh, just dropping. I think that would be super dope to see. So uh, this starts at the beginning. So we'll have one right here. So this is this is where we're going to want it to be. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So right here is where the sugarcane farm is going to be. So I want to I wanna be able to see it for sure. That's going to look pretty cool. So we're going to have to mine out quite a large area. I have two stacks of observers and two stacks of pistons. So we'll be able to uh, make uh, a few rows. I think probably 10 rows, right? If I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I actually got that in the right spot too. But uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a pretty large farm. Oh wow, I did. It's going to be a large farm. Going to need to mine out quite a bit of stuff. Get our cobble resources up at least. <laughs> Definitely need a lot more cobble. After making those observers, oh man. Used up about all the cobble that I had. So maybe I didn't need that many observers. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we'll have sand above this, and then we'll have the piston right here, observer right here, and then it'll just push it whenever it gets up to that level. Uh, and then, so that means we're going to need 
a layer there, so then sand here. Probably going to be quite a few cuts in this video as well. Uh, just because this is a lot of mining and a lot of grindy work that you all don't need to really see. You know how to mine. You know how to mine in Minecraft, I think. Probably. <laughs> okay, now that we got that done, we'll uh, do this. And then the observers, I think... All we need to have them do, really, is... Oh, man. How do I wire that up? Uh, I think we're going to need repeaters, right? Because the observers, I, I'm wanting to do that. Wait, maybe I actually... Are we able to... Probably just be pretty easy if we have a line like this. Oh, right. Sorry for that cut. I had to... Go ahead and make a bunch more <clears throat> uh, repeaters, and then I also had to get some redstone. So uh, I had to wait for a bunch of stone to smelt up. Very awesome. I really wish you could blast blast furnace uh, cobblestone. <laughs> That's one of my biggest wishes in this game. Uh, okay, so now we can head down here, at least. Um, yeah, I think I think this will probably work. So. We'll have, we gotta go all the way down here. So the observers are gonna be, um, yeah, I guess I'll just use that. So the observers will be like so. Um, oh man, we're gonna, yeah, uh, this is gonna be kind of difficult. So we'll have the observers like that. So <clears throat> once the, uh, sugarcane grows up to here it'll send a redstone pulse out and into that block into the redstone and then into this repeater so then we will just do something like this pretty easy all the way down uh, i am wanting to get a light source i think for the bottom here like some glowstone or uh actually i think the shroom lights i think that's what they're called i think the shroom lights would be a pretty good option so just line up like that okay there we go so now uh make sure i don't miss this there we go uh, we'll put these down oh and then once sugar king grows up Pushes us like that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now that we have that. Oh, I actually I do have spruce. Spruce planks. Oh, I might need to smelt up a bunch more sand. Because if we use the glass panes, we have the potential of losing. Oh, my goodness. I have so many white glass panes now. Uh, we have the potential of losing them on the edge of the block since glass panes aren't a full block. Um, oh man, that really sucks. Okay, I didn't really think about that. Uh, but this should be enough glass in it anyway, I believe. So we'll go ahead and make some white stained glass. There we go. Okay, yeah, this should be enough for how big we're going, but... Uh, in the future, I'm definitely going to need to smelt up some more glass. Okay, so I think we'll just line it up with the spruce planks. Something pretty easy. Go all the way to the ceiling. Why not? Going to go up there eventually. We'll do so oh, uh, something like that. And then line the outside like a so. Oh, no. And basically, I'm going to have to repeat this another two times. So I'm going to go, go ahead and do that. I'll be right back with you guys here in just, oh, yep, 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 just a second. All righty. So we're back. And I did expand the farm quite a bit. Uh, I went up two more layers just because I was kind of getting in the groove of everything. Just kind of, you know, building, playing Minecraft. And 
uh it, it would also look better on the thumbnail <laughs> so yeah we got that done and now it's time for the water stream so i put a soul sand block down there put a couple signs um ready to get get to sealing this up um but i decided to do the spruce planks just along the side and then white stained glass so uh it encompasses it pretty well i'd say and we can see what everything or what's going on in the farm uh, if anything is stuck or broken and I also put shroom lights behind all the sugar cane so it's nice and lit up uh, that was an adventure um, but yeah so now we can go ahead and do the soul sand uh, or bubble elevator uh, so I think just something like that probably do that real quick um, and then oh actually I have a few bits of extra stained glass do that and then we'll have enough for that go ahead and fill this up with cobblestone now i need a oh oh boy okay i'm trying to think about how to do this so i think we'll just go up to there put that block there and then we'll just fill this in do that. That. It doesn't need to be super duper pretty yet. Uh, obviously, because we just started on this, but eventually we'll probably have like a nice pathway made of some different blocks and that sort of stuff. Uh, hopefully, 1.21 comes out while we're working on this and then we can change it out or something. Uh, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, do this. That. Okay. Uh, hi, Bat. You seem a little stuck. Let me help. Let me help you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's hop up here. And get inside here. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Do that. And then should be able to swim. Yeah. Okay, so all we gotta do is just repeat this a few more times. Should be pretty good. There we go. Okay, so now we got that. All right, let's test this out. Uh, can I get down on? Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get down there. Let's see. Can I make that? No. Boop. Boop. Nope. Boop. Nope. Boop. Nope. Boop. There we go. Okay, let's see if that makes it all the way up. What happened? It got stuck right there. You gotta be kidding me. I tested this out a little bit ago and it worked. Oh my god, bro. There ain't no way. Okay, maybe... Maybe if we do... Down there? Eh. There we go. It has the momentum now. So it falls right there. But what if it falls right here? Okay, so it has to be three blocks away. Okay, we really need to get that ice then. I'm going to have to AFK at the uh, zombie spawner in order to get some levels. And then I will get a silk type pickaxe. I'll do that off camera, though, because this video is already going on for pretty long. Um, we did, however, get this completely done, <laughs> except for that one ice block. And I can say that proudly. So it works. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to have to clear this chest out. It's basically my junk chest, my, my building block chest for this farm. But yeah, uh, seems like it works pretty well. Wonderful. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new here. I appreciate everybody who's coming to the channel. We're almost at 600 subs at the time of recording this video. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.